Welcome back friends to the shop. Did you guys know you can buy a chainsaw mill for $20? Well, I have and here it is. And today we're gonna find out, does it actually work? The log that we'll be milling today is a grand fir, about 14 inches in diameter at the, at the larger side. And I need, for a project, I need an eight by eight timber. So that's what we're gonna try to get out of this today. to be uh, 12 feet long. So we'll trim it here at 12, six. I like to cut six inches over so you have a little bit of, to, to work with. We need the log to be as flat as possible on the top. So we've got a few branches and nubs and particular things. We'll trim those off. Now we can see how big of a timber we have here. So this is a little level that I use. It's a 12 inch level. I mark 10 inches on there because uh, what we want to end up with is a 10 inch timber. Now we need to start from the smallest side. Obviously a tree can only big, be as big as the smallest side. So at that 10 inch marker, I'll level across here. And we just oh, don't want to waste anything. Just get every little bit out of it because we're that close. So there's our timber. We got our 10 here. We got our eight there. There are probably many ways to skin this cat here on how to set this up, but I'm gonna try this. Not having used this sort of mill, I don't know that this is the best way, but we'll soon find out. Be sure you choose a real straight two by six or two by four as a guide, because your, your timber will only be as straight as your, as your board. Now I got a little bit of a high spot right here. I'm gonna take an and just shave that down with the saw real quick. So I'm using a 25 inch bar on a 460 not using a ripping, ripping chain on this. I have used and made ripping chains for chainsaw milling. And to be honest with you, I don't see the benefit enough to go through all the aggravation of having two separate chains. It does leave a, a little bit of a smoother finish, but I don't know. It hasn't really been my experience that it's really cut any faster. So I think we're pretty close guys. We just need to put our guide board in alignment with that first cut. Take your time. It's always, I always, I don't get in any rush in the first cut. It's really important to get it right because it kind of sets the tone for the rest of the process. That looks pretty good right there. We'll go with that. We'll mark these. Always mark these here so you can see if it shifted. Well, that was uh, pretty painless. It probably took about uh, three, four minutes to slap that off. Well, that's the hard part done. That first cut's always the hard one. The rest of it's uh, always quite easy.
So something I learned here is it's kind of a, I've got the, the saw bar set too deep and I have to kind of fuss around because I don't want to cut my saw horses. Now, I wouldn't recommend setting these up this high. I've just kind of done it this way because it's easier for me to, to video and to share it with you guys. But if you had something that was a little more sacrificial that you could cut through, it would speed it up a little bit. But I think if we, if we lower that down there and use this as kind of a depth gauge, then that's going to speed things up significantly. Here's a waste if you were curious. Uh, very minimal, uh, didn't hardly waste any wood at all. There's not much there, just a little bit of firewood, uh, but pretty, uh, pretty efficient. Let's see how we did here. Are we square? Very square, totally acceptable. Uh, you can't get a whole lot better than that. Let's see how we ended up, we got a, Exactly a 10, this is full dimension, uh, exactly eight. So uh, good, really good results. I've had worse on, on bigger batter sawmills than that. So what did we learn here? This is a great little chainsaw mill. I have to say, this is probably one of the most enjoyable and easiest and quickest to set up little mills uh, that I've used. I haven't used all of them, uh, but I've used the Alaskan exclusively. But good grief, I mean, the proof is in the eating of the pudding, right? Here we have a, a, a square, really square, uh, eight by 10 that we did uh, with a $20 jig uh, with a saw that you probably already own. Um, no special skill required if you just kind of follow the steps that I did and, and, and make sure you're, you're real straight on that first cut. Take your time. I mean, I didn't have more than, I'll bet, I, if, I could, if I were to set this up and to do this right now, I, I could probably do it in under an hour. So if you're gonna do a cabin or, or something or you wanna need some big timbers, I'd say it would not be, uh, I'd say it would be totally reasonable expect you could do eight to 10 of these in a day uh, by yourself um, and maybe even more, maybe a dozen, but if you got a little bit faster or definitely had a helper uh, to set up, but that's pretty amazing. I mean, that's a very little effort um, something that anyone could do. Do you need a big saw? I mean, I, what I found was I would use the shortest bar as possible. I had that bar was maybe even a little bit long, um, but it, it was easy to work. Uh, it was easy to go through. Just feeling it just from experience, I'd say you're probably gonna get two cuts. You'd be able to cut two of these or get eight total cuts at 12 feet long between sharpening. Um, and you know, that's just a, a short bar like that. You could touch that up with a file and you know, say five minutes to sharpen it. It's better off, you're better off to take a minute and sharpen your saw uh, and not let it go too far because it just really beats you up trying to push uh, a dull saw through the wood. It just, it doesn't pay. When I was doing a bunch of this on the first timber frame cabin we did, uh, I was sharpening every other log and kind of, kind of a bummer to have to stop when you want to, you know, keep cutting, but it, it makes it easier for you. Um, but man, I, I, you can't beat it. I'll put a link to this. I'm not affiliated with it. I just ordered it. Um, I think when I purchased it, it was, 20 bucks. I don't know if this is the original one or this is a knockoff or what it is. This was the Timber Tough and it was 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, it should clamp on pretty much any saw, but if you want to make your own lumber and have a good hobby, uh, <laughs> I don't know how you could beat it. A chunk of two by six, a $20 jig and the saw you already have and a couple chains and you are, um, you're saw milling. So pretty, pretty awesome little jig. I, I really like it. Uh, no, 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 no complaints. Absolutely none. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families, and we'll see you guys on the next video.